You might be wondering, is it possible to play notes that are lower than this or higher than this? And the answer is yes, of course. A lot of instruments, maybe all of them if I think about it hard, can play notes that are either lower or higher than these. Okay. Now the way we do it is we can have a note that's just hanging on the bottom here, you know, underneath the, the E, like that. So that's a D. It's the next note lower, isn't it? So it's a D. Okay, so that little area or space is a D. We can go lower than a D by adding on a line. They call them ledger lines. So if you think of the staff as a ledger of lines, the ledger lines let you make the staff bigger to accommodate more notes. Let's put a ledger line right here and a note on it. See, the note goes over the line, right? And that's a C. That's the note lower than a D. Okay? In fact, this one gets a special name on the piano. It's called the middle C. It's the C that's kind of near the middle of the piano keyboard. Can you go lower than middle C? Oh yeah. Okay? The trumpet, the clarinets, the saxophones, they go lower than a C. And the clarinet goes way down like this. You can go all the way down, three ledger lines, and that low E is the lowest note on a B-flat clarinet. Can you go higher than this? Yes, you can. If you're above the top line, you're in this space up here, that's a G. You probably figured that out yourself, right? F, G, very next thing is makes sense. What's higher than a G? An A. So we're gonna put a ledger line up here and we're gonna make an A, okay? If we go higher than that, we put a note on top of the ledger line and now it's a B. If we go higher than that, we have to have two ledger lines. We put a note right there and that's a C, okay? Now the flute can play very high notes. The flute can go all the way up to five ledger lines. Ouch! <laughs> and this note up here, that is also a C. Yeah, it's high. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Woo! First of all, apologies for having written an incorrect bass clef a little bit ago. Uh, it should look kind of more like this. We have a little circle here and then it comes around like this. And the two dots should be over here to the right of the curly cue. Anyway, bass clef, F clef. What we're gonna do right now is ledger lines for the bass clef. Yes, the bass clef instruments can play notes within the staff but they can also play notes higher and lower than the staff. And this is a normal, natural thing to do. If we put a ledger line above the staff and we, we like this, we put a note in there, okay? That note is a C. Not only is it a C, it's that middle C. It's the same exact note on the treble clef middle C. Remember that was middle C for the treble clef? Okay, so that note is the exact same pitch, the same note as the bass clef, middle C. And you can think of it like that's where they intersect, right? That's where they become one. Oh. Some instruments can go much higher than that, uh, including the bassoon. Even the trombone can usually play up to three ledger lines on the bass clef without a lot of difficulty. Okay, so let's go with one ledger line, two ledger lines, three ledger lines. Oh, sorry, I gotta erase you over here. Middle C. All right, three ledger lines. That's a C is the first ledger line. D is in the space. E is the next ledger line. So F is in the space. And then G is the third ledger line, okay? 
and that's going higher and higher. Yes, you can have notes even higher than that, and some instruments will play higher than that, even in the bass clef. Going down low, can you? how low can you go? Well, you can go really low, especially a tuba. Below a G is an F. Hanging on the bottom of the staff, that's an F. Okay? If you want to go lower than that, you have to make a ledger line and then draw a note there. That note is an E. Now that's kind of a special E in a way because that E is the lowest string on every guitar. Okay? That's this note. You might be wondering, can we go even lower than this E? The answer is absolutely yes. We'll just add more ledger lines and we'll play even lower. The tuba plays very low notes. We have a D underneath that E, okay? If you go to the line below it, that's a C, so that's two ledger lines underneath the clef. A B is underneath that, but a tuba can go a full octave lower than that note if he's a good tuba player, <laughs> okay? And that, my friends, is the lowest note on a tuba, the lowest B flat. Typically, that's the bottom of their range. Now, when I'm pointing to this B flat, and I'm talking about the tuba, I mean a normal, everyday tuba. I don't mean like a contra tuba, whatever tuba. The very next note, by the way, the A, that happens to be the lowest note on a piano. When you, yeah, you walk up to a piano and you want to go way down there. That's this note. Okay, so that's our discussion of ledger lines for today. Just remember that we have five lines and four spaces on the treble clef. We have five lines and spaces on the bass clef. But each of those clefs can be expanded with the use of ledger lines. See you next time.